White flight is happening in urban schools. There's no dispute. The Lansing School District in Michigan is among the affected. Make any reason why you want. People claiming that violence happened, violence that did actually happen, or test scores, the government taking over the school district. The, the Lansing School District, out, out among the parents and out among the world, has, has this reputation for being tough. So in Lansing, for example, they've seen a sharp decline in enrollment as students are choicing out into surrounding school districts. What does white flight mean for schools? Those shortfalls in um, finances create real challenges for especially central city schools like Lansing who are trying to keep up with the loss of population and the loss of revenue. The thing about test scores is so when when you go to a school that has more resources so I keep mentioning Oklahoma City Lansing because they're close but they're also you know they get great test scores they have the resources both time and money to offer things such as ACT prep. Some may even argue this was predictable. And people in education, uh, the MEA and others, kind of raised a red flag and said what this is going to do. They, they predicted pretty much what this program has done, which is take high-achieving students out of the urban districts and spread them around the suburbs. So if the problems are this clear-cut, where are the changes? As of late October 2017, a report has been filed that Michigan is the worst state for black students. What now? <laughs>